This year, a new version of approved document F relating to ventilation is coming into force. The 2022 changes to Part F will cover all building work. Volume 1 is for dwellings and Volume 2 is for buildings other than dwellings. In this video, we'll look at Volume 1 for domestic buildings. Follow the link in the description to watch our video about Volume 2. Note that although Volume 1 relates to dwellings, Volume 2 covers buildings containing rooms used for non-dwelling residential purposes. For example, hotels, hostels, halls of residence and boarding houses. Both volumes have been updated in response to the significant changes within the 2022 edition of Part L, Conservation of Energy. Our video explaining these changes is also linked in the description. Mechanical ventilation will be required in kitchens, utility rooms, bathrooms and windowless sanitary accommodation. Minimum extract rates are detailed in Table 1.1 of the new approved document. This is on screen now. There is now clear guidance that recirculating cooker hoods require additional mechanical extract fan to external air within the room. Supply air for the dwelling should be delivered through either a continuous supply fan or background ventilation. The performance requirement is specified in litres per second per metre square of floor area or litres per second per bedroom. Internal doors should also allow air to flow through the dwelling. To achieve this, doors should be undercut by one of the following. Where the floor finish is fitted, 10 millimetres above the floor finish. Where the floor finish is not fitted, 20 millimetres above the floor surface. A system of purge ventilation should be provided. Purge ventilation is manually controlled ventilation that allows for a relatively large change of air in a short period of time, e.g. opening windows or a mechanical fan. If this is provided through openings in a habitable room, these openings should be of a minimum area shown in Table 1.4 or be otherwise demonstrated to provide four air changes per hour. Hinged or pivot windows with an opening angle of less than 15 degrees are not suitable for purge ventilation. Reference is also made to part O of the building regulations which is likely to require higher purge ventilation rates and larger opening windows than detailed within Table 1.4. For whole house ventilation, the choice of system is restricted for buildings with low air permeability rates. Part L of the building regulations is driving lower air leakage rates. When buildings are designed with air permeability rates that are less than 5 meters cubed per meter square per hour at 50 pascals, trickle ventilators are not deemed acceptable. In this case, continuous mechanical extract ventilation, or CMEV, or whole house mechanical ventilation with heat recovery, MVHR, should be installed in place of or to supplement the trickle ventilators. Continuous mechanical extract ventilation can either be a centralised system or a series of individual continuous extract fans in place of the intermittent extract fans. For less airtight dwellings, whole house ventilation can be achieved using trickle ventilators rather than continuous mechanical extract ventilation. Purge ventilation can be provided by openable windows. Intermittent extract fans should be provided to wet rooms, utility rooms, bathrooms, kitchens and sanitary accommodation. Wet rooms with no external walls should have fans that extract four air changes per hour to provide purge ventilation. Windowless rooms should have a 50-minute overrun to the mechanical extract ventilation system. 
Openable windows can be used as an alternative to intermittent extract fans to WCs. However, shower and bathrooms still require mechanical extract fans. For whole house ventilation in dwellings with a single ventilated facade, mechanical systems are expected. Expert advice is required if you want to use trickle ventilation in these situations. If fans and background ventilators are close to main roads or areas of sustained loud noise, then noise attenuating trickle vents are required. Background ventilation should be provided following the guidance in Table 1.7. This is on the screen now. Figures are provided for minimum equivalent areas of background ventilation for single-storey dwellings and dwellings with multiple floors. All mechanical extract systems installed within new dwellings or dwellings formed by a material change of use should be performance tested at completion of the building work. The test report should be provided to Builder Control prior to sign-off. As usual, transitional provisions apply to this document. To use the old version of Part F, an application must be received before the 15th of June 2022 and work must start on site before 15th of June 2023. For multiple dwellings or buildings on an application, work on each unit must have commenced for the transitional provisions to apply. So, on an application for 100 dwellings, the application must be submitted by the 15th of June 2022 and the work on all 100 units must be commenced by the 15th of June 2023. If only 10 dwellings have started, only these can be built to the old standard and the remainder must meet the new 2022 Part F. Foundations for blocks of flats are considered a start on site for all the units within the block. As always, if you have any questions about the new approved documents, just get in touch with your building control provider. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to get in touch, just give us a ring on the number that's on screen now. Thank you very much.